Dear students, in the beginning of the lesson, I would like to greet you with Happy New Year and Christmas and Merry Christmas. And I hope that this new year will, uh, will be new, not only in the question of the uh, life, but in, in, but in the question of the knowledge, of the development of your personality, of the maturity of your personality. Because our life is interesting, interesting because it's the greatest gift which God gave us is to share this consciousness, consciousness that we participate in this process and this life with God. When I, in the beginning of the course, we, uh, we look for, uh, looked for the most important problem of our society, uh, uh, in particular different social uh, problems, social, economical, and we speak that the uh, origin of the, uh, all these problems is the question of the human spirituality and of the human, uh, uh, the question of the wisdom. Because this problem is the, is, <laughs> is the result, maybe uh, I will say this with a smile, and it's, it's a result of the hum, human stupidity. And uh, when we uh, then we have analyzed different uh, cases, uh, what, how to do the question of the church, the question and others, and in the, and then we spoke about the stewardship. Why I spoke about the stewardship? Because it's a science how to uh, uh, to realize the uh, good things. How to realize this, this on, uh, on our level? Because we, are, uh, we have the capacity to do everything which we like. Uh, and, uh, but the main uh, question is the question of the human spirituality. In the modern time, we need the person who speaks the truth, the, uh, the person who speaks the facts and arguments which are, but not that they are interpreted in the, uh, with the goal to receive the prophets. Uh, and in the modern time we need real theologists who know the values of the human life. Because the base of all science, and uh, uh, I, I support this point of view, is uh, the, um, the base is the theology. Theology which, uh, which give us the understanding of the sense of our life, our effort with God, and the theology uh, built our moral uh, values, thinking of them we do our cho chosen, we choose the action, we choose to do something, in according to our moral values. And uh, stewardship is uh, one of the best practices how to realize our common good. And because re the religion has this force that, that, uh, uh, that is, uh, the religion, thinking of religion, we can uh, uh, we, we, uh, we choose, how I said before, we choose our moral values, and uh, one time I asked it myself, why is a person uh, uh, ready to pray together, but why they don't know how to uh, realize these uh, the principles, the spiritual principles, in the society. Why is the, there is so great difference be, be, between my behavior and my praying inside of the church and if when I go outside of the church I uh, recognize more the uh, laws of the competition, political, economical, cultural and, uh, mm, and I in practice I lose my life of my time in this competition without this sense. 
because the cooperation the cooperation which we need is a result of human life it's a result of the human understanding uh, and wishing of good to one another and uh, in many cases we do not we do but uh, the uh, many receive the profits thinking of the destroying of the life of the others we analyze different type of the businesses from the agricultural to the industry when the people buy the things which they don't need really or uh, the farmers grew the different uh, vegetables potatoes and others thinking of the chemical uh, ingredients which only uh, help to grow uh, great vegetables but they destroy our health and because it's a question of the human spirituality because we recognize the question of the profit more important is the question to do com common good and without the cooperation we can't do it and one time when I was in the um, one village in one parish I have seen the beautiful church and around the church there were beautiful flowers and small garden and I have seen many uh, grand uh, uh, old person who take care of it and I asked them why around the church you have so beautiful place and outside of the church at outside of the uh, it you see the bad roofs, bad gardens and uh, you have, don't have library, don't have school and, they, and uh, I have seen their eyes and uh, slowly I understood it when I began to analyze we had two important moments the craft question of the property then that the person do something when they consider that this something is yours, is their property. And the other very important question is the question of the power. When you want to do something, uh, or you would like to end, uh, change something, to realize, you must have a power. And uh, because uh, and we can repeat this situation when the people say that we don't have the job and they wait for aid of the state or some uh, pain that they uh, they must to live I, I recognize that the state must recognize to the people and the families when they don't have the job but my other question was but what we do, which step we do to change this situation? If we see some villages where the people there they don't have the job and they see these uh, uh, provinces, we uh, speak about the depression uh, provinces, uh, and the people always say, but it's bad, it's bad, it's bad. But I ask them what we do to change the situation how much investments we need to do beautiful garden how much investments uh, in the station we need to create some school or others uh, other institution which we need in our society when we analyze we don't need so much we only need to have goodwill and the and the power to the and uh, to uh, to do this and uh, now I sent you some files about this question of the uh, empowerment what is the empowerment empowerment is a process that builds people's capacity and competence both as individual as participating members of groups and communities to achieve results for themselves it's important to remember that you must have power. This is the 
and maybe I give you some facts that the problem of the modern democracy is not that we don't that we, uh, that we have bad laws. It's the problem that the people are perceived to protect their laws, uh, their rights, because you, uh, often they don't know them. It's a great question, because the uh, uh, effective democracy is where where the people are active in this process, in the, even in the political process. Because, have say one philosophy, if you don't interest in the politics, politics is interesting in you. And for um, uh, during these last centuries, we create so-called class of the politics, uh, politics men, uh, when uh, they speak that we need them to manage the state. But uh, they create, sure, they create different ideologies and ideas. Uh, one is a, uh, one person is from the uh, left, other calls them the right. Uh, one nation of democracy, other democratic nation, or socialist, or they can call. But in the practice, we see one particular moment that often we don't have enough possibility to change our life even on our local level. Why? Why? Because we are not organized in this question. In the democracy we must be organized and have different moments where we involve it as members to participate and to be uh, to create this, to increase uh, this powerful capacity, we can call it so. And uh, I speak about you about the empowerment, because uh, even community empowerment, because these files are very interesting, because they can show you how the some parish can be reorganized in the. To and uh, where the people is well organized, and they can resolve their question on their local level. And uh, uh, because when we are well organized, maybe for some community it's better than to have many, many scientific men which who are not organized. Because, for example, if the uh, parish community are well organized, and then are uh, uh, different uh, members in different association departments and so uh, we can say we would like to do public garden and we can organize the members of this association because we do we'd like to do something for the common good in the question of the ecology in the uh, so-called non-profit uh, sector, in the to help the all people, uh, even to speak about the sustainable development. Because if we do, we'd like to do anything, we must have a power, and we must be active in this process. Not we can see, but I must only to walk, and uh, the politics will do uh, without me. No, it's a great mistake, because the politics. Will be, will uh, they are here? Uh, they hear you only with you are uh, uh, speak not only uh, uh, from you, but if you are members of many of these of the different powers, uh, which have many thousands of the people, and the politics in this way they are in the surviving of the society because you put them in the condition that they must hear you must listen to you, your proposals, your, your desires, uh, your wishing, and you would like to, to, uh, to do something good, if, uh, you must understand this process from the small parish where the priest or other person teach you of the good things in the light of the Christian science and how to realize it on the practical level. I would like that in the one uh, 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 one week you will read and uh, about this uh, about this uh, about this uh, process of the empowerment how to achieve a power and then we will uh, slowly will uh, have two thousand two weeks 
all the different uh, uh, possibility how to uh, uh, projection, how to do different projects, and to found different associations. Thank you very much for the attention. Good luck.